Welcome everyone to the second video on variational methods and Hamilton principle. In the previous video, we uh, quickly introduced variation and uh, functionals. Uh, I hope that again no mathematician is listening to this because they would probably uh, not be that happy because I oversimplified what the functional is and what variation is. However, what was introduced in the previous video is all what we need to know uh, in the coming uh, lessons uh, in this course. Uh, in this uh, video, we will talk about Hamilton's principle. Uh, Hamilton's principle is uh, a, a, a very uh, straightforward rule. It may look uh, a little bit complicated, but I hope that by the end of these videos, you will find it easy to use and straightforward. It's a very systematic way to obtain the equations of motions for any mechanical system. It can be used in dynamics, it can be used in statics, and here we are going to utilize it in finite element analysis. Uh, the Hamilton, uh, in the uh, Hamilton principle, we need to uh, use the energy terms. Uh, for the energy, we have uh, three main uh, parts of the energy that we need to uh, have with us. First, the kinetic energy, which is a reflection of the motion of a system. That's why if we are talking about static problems, the motion is not included, so uh, the kinetic energy will not be included. The second type is the potential energy. Uh, potential energy is a term uh, very widely uh, known in physics. It's concerned with what we call conservative fields, uh, like the uh, gravitational field. Uh, however, uh, there is also another kind of potential energy that's well known in mechanics of material, which is called the elastic energy. Uh, the, f the third and last uh, uh, energy term that we will need always to have with us is the external work done by forces. Uh, the forces applied on a structure uh, are either concentrated or distributed, but uh, as the structure deforms, the points where this, these forces are applied move. Uh, that's why the force is exerting a kind of energy. Uh, remember from basic physics that energy is defined as the force times displacement. So if the point where the force is applied is moving, the force itself is exerting energy. This is quite an important term uh, that's also needed to complete Hamilton principle. Okay, now uh, in algebraic terms, uh, Hamilton's principle uh, defines the total energy uh, of the problem as the kinetic energy T minus the potential energy U plus the external work uh, W. Uh, these are the three terms and this is the total energy uh, of the system. Uh, then uh, the Hamilton principle says that the integration of the variation of the total energy over a given period of time where you know the initial state and the final state, this integration should always be zero. Uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, philosophy and a lot of uh, mathematics behind this principle. I'm not here uh, trying to explain where it came from, but this uh, became a rule uh, or a very important principle uh, that we need to use uh, and we need to have always satisfied. Uh, in statics problems, this, uh, this, uh, to, uh, this problem reduces to uh, the variation of the total energy is equal to zero since the time that, uh, doesn't matter in statics problems. Uh, here, uh, uh, expanding what we had in the previous slide, you can see that uh, the integration of from T to 1 to, uh, to T2 of the total energy, which is the variation of the kinetic energy minus the variation of the potential energy plus the variation of the external work done by the external forces integrated over time is equal to zero. For the sake of uh, uh, static problems, the kinetic energy term is lost and we end up with this expression. Uh, this is a, a, a very nice rule, very important one that you can use to derive probably any 
a problem that you have whether you are going to apply finite element analysis or you are going to obtain the differential equation and uh, solve it analytically however uh, for us we are going to use that to derive our finite element model and that's what we're going to see in the uh, coming video just to recap uh, in this video uh, we introduced what Hamilton principle is uh, it's the variation uh, it says that the integration uh, of the variation of the total energy over time is equal to zero this is all what it says uh, it's uh, it looks simple it is simple uh, I hope that when we uh, when we work with it in the coming video it will become uh, clearer for uh, everyone uh, thank you and I uh, hope to see you next video